CBS sitcom called 9JKL is based on some real life experiences of the man who not only stars in the show, he's also the co creator and executive producer. Mark Feuerstein plays an actor who is newly divorced and between projects. He moves home to regroup and he finds himself right in the middle, literally, between his and his brother's family on the ninth floor of an apartment building and units J, K, and L. Mark joins us live from Los Angeles. Good morning. Hi, Sarah. Good morning. Love being live in Pittsburgh. Yeah, we're happy to have you live on TV here in Pittsburgh. Mark, I have to start off asking you, did this really happen to you? Is that where you got the idea? Yes. Uh, I was on a show called Royal Pains for the last eight years. And to save money while I was living in New York, I lived in the apartment right next door to the, the apartment that I grew up in, which my parents owned and kindly let me live in. So every morning I'd wake up to my father in his tidy white. He's going, Mark, what do you want for breakfast? And every night I'd come home to my mother waiting by the door saying, would you like to come in for a salad? And I would sit with her and talk about the day's events. And then there was this period of two years where my brother lived on the other side. So I was sandwiched by my parents and my brother. And uh, we thought that would be a great TV show. And so far, it has been. Yeah, I'm sure that it made for some really funny experiences. How close to the show was what you were going through? Uh, the show in the pilot episode, which was on this past Monday night, there were at least three things that were true to life. Um, my father did make me do a video to promote the estates planning business at his law firm. Uh, my father did interrupt me when I was on a date and shoved a piece of, as he says, gorgeous honeydew melon down the throat of my poor date. Uh, this really happened one time at our country house in Long Island. And uh, my mother really did, as I mentioned, wait for me every time I came home. Uh, in the pilot, I went through uh, a parkour routine to avoid getting caught by her as I walked by her door. That didn't really happen, and, and my mother didn't really pay the doorman to tell her every time I was coming up in the elevator. Uh, but much of the rest of it has base in reality. I'm sure your parents are getting a kick out of watching this as well. And you also are working with your wife on this project. Talk about what that's like. Uh, that's a great question, Sarah. Um, we have not killed each other yet. It's <laughs> going really well so far. Uh, I truly admire and respect her. She wrote for the TV show Friends. She wrote for the, for the show Fresh Off the Boat. She's had shows on television, on CBS before. So I am in awe of her talent, her ability to run a writer's room. And uh, I like to be just a, a nice support for the late hours she's working and uh, there are days where I'll be in the writer's room with her till maybe seven and then I'll run home to put the kids to bed and she'll stay there till one or two in the morning. So uh, I try to just stay out of her way. I'm sure that's a busy schedule. And Mark, you've done a little bit of everything. I want to ask you, what's it like working with some of the other actors on this show? Because you're working with some really well-known great people. Uh, art. Our cast is amazing. We got all of our first choices, so we're, it's an embarrassment of riches. Uh, Linda Lavin is the one who I had the most history with because she's actually played my mother before on a show that I did you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. So we have that history, and I feel like that comes into play when we're working together. We just have this, we picked up right where we left off, and we just have this natural chemistry. Elliot Gould, the second I got to read with him, the one time we did just a casual reading of the script, I knew this guy was meant to play my dad. He is just such a brilliant actor, such a character, and he brings all of himself to the role. David Walton, we were so lucky to get him. The guy's been the lead of his own show about a boy, and uh, my, bro my real brother is thrilled to be played by someone as handsome and charming as he is. All right, Mark. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And again, you can look for 9JKL tonight here on KDK TV right at 830.